Hey peeps. So I'm just here to kind of um, advise a little bit on um, exercise equipment that might be there, um, promoting itself, um, getting the exercise in the home and creating home workouts for you to be able to create that quick exercise hit before you get on with the rest of your day. Um, I've come across uh, a plastic bit of tact um, that is basically trying to promote, um, it's there to bring resistance into your training for your legs, for your creating your um, better booty if we will. Um, it is trying to take the principle of um, a seat if you will um, and moving it from a higher position to a lower position to a lower position which is creating that resistance as I say there's no steadiness to it there's no great structure to it it is flimsy it is horrible so what I'm here to do today is I'm going to talk you through what that is trying to promote itself to be for 50 quid um, I am going to give you a run through and a tutorial of how to do the exact same thing for free. Boom. So, if you will, if you follow me just for the next 5 to 10 minutes, um, I will run you through. Get yourself a chair at home. Any standing chair would be perfect for this. What we're going to be doing is using the edge of the chair. We're getting ourselves into that standard squat position. So, what I want you to be doing, arms out in front, arms out, knees straight, knees straight, but not going over the toes, please, people. And we are touching your bum onto the chair and pushing yourself back up. Down to the edge of the chair and back up. Okay? So that is one of their movements. So, simple. Touching the chair and back up. Kind of going through a 90 degree angle. Maybe just a little bit more. That is creating resistance there for us to then push it up. Squeezing the backside once we are back into a standing position. That is a box squat. Essentially, exactly the same what is promoted on the front of their box. That is what we are doing right now. We are squatting. For them to incur resistance, what they do then is tell you to move it down one. Well, all that's doing is taking this level of height. Well, I'm gonna use this is one of these still. Why not? So that, see the height difference? Put that there. In comparison to that, yeah? So what I've took then is this level here to there. So we've got a level difference of a couple of inches there, which is going to incur resistance because that is going to be making it then where I am using my body weight and I'm having to go further into a squat which is incurring resistance on my glutes, my hammies, my legs and I am having to then use more energy to lift myself from that squat because I am having to go further down, I am using more of my body weight and sitting into that squat therefore creating a harder resistance for when I'm standing up. It's exactly the same principle as them telling you to move that plug out of that one into that one to take the level down to create resistance. Use your initiative, use your common sense. Don't get fooled into the usual um, buying of items because it has a fitness uh, and an exercise thing revolved around it. Yeah, it's promoting fitness or they are promoting it to promote fitness. But if you look into it, is it actually doing anything that you can't do for yourself? 
or is it incurring £50 taking it out of your bank account for something that you can use at home? Okay? So, as I say, we'll go back to this. I just did squats on this level. So now, I'm taking that level away and creating a resistance by taking that level down a couple of inches. And I'm going to use a stool. Why not? At the end of the day, it's down to me how I maneuver myself into that squat, my posture, making sure that my ass is pointing outwards, making sure that my back's straight. It is down to me how I execute that squat to what result I get from it. It's got nothing to do with the piece of plastic I'm about to set, sit or rest my ass on. It's just cost you 50 quid. So, again, same principle, guys. Your knees do not go over your toes. Box squat. And what I want you to be doing, again, arms out in front. Arms out. And then we are, again, touching, resistance, and throwing ourselves back up. Again. Touching. And straight back up. One more. We are going down. We are keeping everything nice and tight. We are keeping our back straight. We are sticking our ass out. And we are throwing ourselves back up with some exertion. That resistance is created from your body weight. Taking that height down is creating the resistance on your glutes. So when you are essentially going down, going down, we are sitting into it, touching the table and throwing yourself back up. Okay? To the extent where the next level down would incur more resistance. But what I do for that level, obviously you would be different if you are just starting out guys. So take into account how flexible you are to start off with and how, how far of a degree you're going to take them levels down step by step. You need to take that into consideration yourself. You know what fitness level you're at, you know what flexibility level you're at. Just again, use a little bit of common sense. Uh, so I know that I can now touch my ass to the grass, whereas you guys might, might not be able to do so. So again, the level will just go again to where you feel comfortable. Another couple of inches that would create, again, further resistance, a hard resistance. That is your hard, hardest level. So, I am going to again, move that over. So my level now, hardest, hardest level if you will, I'm going to take my ass to the floor. Okay, but because of my hip dysplasia, I have to do it a little bit differently. So what I do is I spread, I use more of a sumo stance if you will. I kind of open my hips up a little bit because I know how I am and my training has to be that little bit different or oh, because of my disabilities and things and my hip displays yeah I don't want to pop my hips out so I use just more of a, a stance going down I go all the way down my knees again they are not going over my toes I have sat into that squat as far as I can I can't go any further like I'm, I'm, I'm as far to the grass as I can be so that is me that is my maximum squat my maximum resistance because that is my full body weight now to the floor my full body weight is on the floor and I am having to throw my full body weight up from the floor maximum resistance does this make sense I hope so so I'll show you that on the side again we are I'm, I'm just opening my hips up a little bit so we're just pointing our we're just following again the knees are following the toes and we are sticking our arms out and we are just going all the way down and we are pushing back up resistance on them glutes and your hammies and you're bringing a little bit kind of room around the thighs as well Yeah. Bending down and then we're taking it 
all the way guys into that squat and we are throwing ourselves back up tension the ass once we have come to that standing position again just doing toe again a little bit more of a squeeze in that muscle exerting that energy as much as possible and creating a better booty 